Hello and welcome to Silent Creativa. Today we will make some molds. For this project, you will need something you want to make a mold from. Silicon from the hardware store, every type will do. A gun for the silicon. Cornstarch. Sunflower oil. Acrylic paint, if you like. A container where you can mix your mixture in, a popsicle stick, a scale, gloves, and I highly recommend a breathing mask. Though my first attempt failed miserably, which I will show you in the end, I decided to take a scale and um, measure the two parts exactly. Um, in the internet I saw that you should use two parts silicon, one part of cornstarch, and I have to say, after I tried this, it came out really well and very nice. The sunflower oil and the acrylic paint seem to be optional, but Though they be included in most of the recipes I saw online, I gave it a try. I have to say I'm not sure about both of the ingredients. The sunflower oil made the uh, final piece a little bit oily, but only in the beginning. And the acrylic paint didn't mix in like I would expected it. Maybe you have to water it down in front of it but I didn't give it a try on this way. When you put everything together, mix it inside your bowl until you can't mix it anymore. If you need it, you can add more cornstarch and um, to get a firm result, just uh, mix it in your hands afterwards. That is uh, why I wear gloves. When everything is blended together, take a part of it, make it into a ball, flatten it down and take your piece that you would like to replicate, push it into the uh, mixture and let it sit down until it's hardened. Um, online I read that it should set 20 minutes. I left it for nearly an hour and that was totally fine. So, if you are in a hurry, just leave it for 20 minutes and take a look at it. Um, if you have time, take it. So, when it's totally cured, you can uh, unmold your pieces. 
and have a really nice mold to work with. Now, on to my final thoughts and the first attempt I did, which, as I mentioned earlier, failed miserably. Um, normally, I just use the uh, option with the two-part silicon, um, which is more fluid. To be honest, I don't really see the difference between the molds I made with this method and with a two-part silicone. They are both detailed um, and they seem to be totally fine and usable. So if you would like to have a cheaper alternative to the other ways to mold something. This is definitely for you. But as I mentioned, I nearly couldn't stand the fumes. Um, first I thought, ah, damn it, just do it like you're used to. And um, I left my working space to open the window put on a breathing mask because my eyes were burning, my lungs were burning, and oh hell, <laughs> I couldn't stand it. Um, so if you have to work inside, make sure that your windows are open and totally open um, and that you wear a breathing mask because it's very heavy. And as you can see in the footage now, um, without measuring everything, you can get a total mess. Um, it's surprisingly easy to clean everything off after you created this mountain of cornstarch and silicon that I drew there. Um, and the molds I made at this point are totally okay, but Oh my gosh, it was a mess. So I highly recommend measuring everything. So I hope you liked the video. Um, and yeah, maybe we'll uh, give this method of molding a try. Um, yeah, and so I'm left with saying thank you for watching. and. Have a nice day.